Hello friends, welcome back where we are again going to learn a couple of new words for us to converse in Hindi easily without any problem. So let's have a look at the next set of words that we have in our screen. Nothing. Your friend asks you what happened, what is the problem with you? You generally say nothing. Right. So how do you say that in Hindi? Let's see. Kuch nahi. Nothing. I ask you what happened? Why are you looking upset? And the person who replies me back says a single word answer nothing. For which I can say the same thing in Hindi as kuch nahi. Alright. So let's see the next one. Pay attention. Now again this is something which we use both in a formal way and in an informal way. The formal way we generally use it in the offices, in the school, wherein whenever something important is being shared, we want the other pay person to pay complete attention. So how do you say that in Hindi? Let's see. Dhyan do. How do you say? Dhyan do. So Dhyan stands for attention. Do means pay. Now if I have to say children pay attention. I would say the same thing in Hindi as Bacho Dhyan Do. Now if I have to say team pay attention, I would say team Dhyan Do. Okay. If I am instructing this to a particular child, say for example, I say Sita pay attention, I would say Sita Dhyan Do. Alright. Let's see the next one. Very good. Now you are appreciating someone. Like your son or your daughter has scored very good marks in their test. And when they come with a progress card, you see their marks and you are really happy. When you appreciate them, very good. How do you say that in Hindi? Bahut khub. How do you say? Bahut khub. So sometimes this bahut khub can also be used as excellent when your achievement is remarkable. So depending on how you want to appreciate and for what particular thing you are appreciating, we use this word bahut khub. Alright, so let's see the next one. Congratulations. Again, the warm wishes which you are giving for some achievements of someone. Right, so how do you say that in Hindi? Badhai ho. Now you are congratulating, let's say, your team member for his promotion. Okay, when I say Hari, congratulations, I say Hari, Badhai Ho. Okay, you are congratulating a couple for their marriage. Okay, you say Badhai Ho Aapko. Aapko means you. Okay, Badhai Ho Aapko. Alright, so let's have a recap of whatever we learned so far. Nothing. When I say nothing, important, nothing. I say the same as kuch nahi. Okay. Kya hua? Someone asks you what happened? Kya hua? I say nothing. Kya hua? Kuch nahi. Alright. Next. Pay attention. Kids. Pay attention. Bacho. Dhyan do. Team. Dhyan do. Dosto. Dhyan do. Dosto means friends. When you say friends, pay attention. You say dosto, dhyan do. Alright. Next, very good. You are appreciating for which it is bahut khub. Bacho, bahut khub. Children, very good. You say bacho, bahut khub. Okay. When you are calling your son or daughter, so, in Hindi, if you call son, you say beta and for daughter, you say beti. So, you can say beta, bahut khub. Son, very good. Beti, bahut khub. Daughter, very good. Alright. The next one, congratulations. For which you say badhai ho. Badhai ho. Alright. So, now, I hope this was easier for you to pronounce along with me and to practice. So, let's have a look at the next set of words. 
all of a sudden now this is again something when you want to describe something of your emergency unable to do something so how do you say that in hindi let's see achanak se all of a sudden achanak se suddenly achanak se all of a sudden my car broke down achanak se meri gaadi band ho gayi okay so just pay the attention on all of a sudden achanak se all right let's see the next one let's go all right so again it's a informal friendly conversation let's go how will you say that in hindi chalo chale how will you say chalo chale all right so we say friends let's go in hindi we say it as dosto chalo chale okay we say hurry let's go you can say it as hurry chalo chale all right let's see the next one why not okay if your friend asks are you available tonight for a party you respond why not and the same thing you will say it in hindi as kyu nahi okay will you come for the party kya tum party aoge why not kyu nahi got it okay so let's see the next one please listen now this is a very courteous way polite way of asking the person to listen to you so how will you say it in hindi zara suniye please listen zara suniye you are requesting the person okay so zara is for please and suniye is for listen zara suniye okay i say sheila please listen it will be sheila zara suniye mithun please listen mithun zara suniye all right so let's have a recap of it once again all of a sudden achanak se let's go chalo chale why not kyu nahi please listen zara suniye so i hope it was easy for you to understand and communicate along with me right so let's have a look at the next set of words speak the truth again you would have heard many people advising their kids we advise our known people right speak the truth how do you say that in hindi sach boliye so sach stands for truth and boliye means speak so sach boliye okay we say children speak the truth bachcho sach boliye all right next let's see the next one look at me again an instruction given where you are asking the other person to look at you how will you say that in hindi mujhe dekho mujhe dekho so mujhe means me and dekho means look mujhe dekho okay so look and see both mean the same so in hindi we use dekho for see as well as look all right i say ritu look at me so it would be ritu mujhe dekho okay subhash look at me subhash mujhe dekho all right let's see the next one it's done your friends ask you you have not yet completed your project you say it's done so how do you say that in hindi let's see ho gaya okay when i say the work is done so in hindi i say it as kaam ho gaya so work means kaam so when i say work it's done work is done so it will be kaam ho gaya okay or you can simply say ho gaya all right let's see the next one please leave 
again you are being courteous and polite enough to ask the other person to leave the premises please leave now how will you say that in hindi kripaya jaye so kripaya means please and leave means jaye kripaya jaye now the parents are assembling near the principal room and the receptionist is really finding it difficult to arrange the parents or to ask them to sit politely so the receptionist say parents please leave so it would be parents kripaya jaye all right so let's have a recap once again speak the truth sach boliye bachcho sach boliye rohit sach boliye aap sach boliye aap means you you speak the truth aap sach boliye all right look at me mujhe dekho look at me mujhe dekho okay it's done ho gaya when i say it's done ho gaya please leave kripaya jaye please leave kripaya jaye now let's see what is the next set of words which will be useful for us in our day to day conversation okay here and there the house is messed up here and there so how will you say here and there in hindi let's see yahan waha right so you know that yahan stands for here and waha stands for there okay yahan waha i say the house is messed up here and there ghar yahan waha bikhra hai so ghar means house yahan waha messed up is bikhra hai okay next one again one more way of saying here and there is idhar udhar idhar udhar okay so you can use both the words you can either use yaha waha you can also use idhar udhar when i say don't go here and there i can say this in hindi as yaha waha mat jao idhar udhar mat jao so mat jao means don't go i say don't go here and there i can say it as yaha waha mat jao idhar udhar mat jao both are correct all right let's see the next one i will come you are being invited for some function and when you are being asked again about your presence you say i will come so how will i say that in hindi main aunga now main means me that is i and aunga means will come now here we need to learn that if i am a boy if i am a male i will use the word aunga all right now if i am a female if i am a girl i will use the word as aungi okay now if i if rohit is being asked this question will you come and rohit replies i will come so he will say it as mai aunga all right now if mitali is being asked this question mitali will you come mitali replies i will come she will say it as mai aungi all right so let's have a quick recap when i say here and there i can say it as yahan waha or idhar udhar all right and when i have to say i will come if i am a boy i will say main aunga if i am a girl i would say main aungi so hope it was helpful and informative for you to understand these words